Hi guys, it's Granny Tanner speaking. Welcome to City Skylines 2. This is part 2. In the last part we founded this city on the Tanner Islands region with a lot of islands and this is the biggest I would say rather because those uh, are not usable, at least not completely. Okay, and yeah, the people liking this, they moved in quite fast. Uh, the industry is not so fast and the, um, the shops but they will come. And now they want um, medium density residential areas. They will get it. And they want um, healthcare and a landfill and so and so forth. So we'll give it to them. First the medical clinic. I think maybe we can just... Oh, where do we put the... Um, cemetery, I think rather there, this will look nice here, and then maybe I just put the medical clinic on the other side of the road. And then some people have to move out, but they can move in somewhere else. Okay, and we need a landfill. So maybe first uh, thinking about where we could place this. Maybe I make a small road over there. And then we use this wonderful little forest. No, that is too sad. And this... This would be good for the landfill, something like that. So maybe I dezone this. Yes, sorry people. I find it always rather sad when people have to move out where they settled, but yeah, I think that's part of this game. Ooh. This is not much place for all our garbage. And maybe I take the other idea. Yeah, sorry, people. Somehow this game lives from um, moving people out of their houses. So... And I think especially on this map with um, so tiny islands, yeah, we have to think, think everything over and change it over and over again. So now we go like here and then there. Oh, the People who built there will love it. But I think for industry it's not such a big problem. So... And maybe I keep some space here for something to burn all the stuff later. Okay. Yeah, so when you come to this wonderful dream island, you are greeted with all the garbage of the people. Um.
maybe later we can hide it on the garbage island or so. But right now it's here. And I think the... the in this island should mainly be concentrated on earning, earning money. Now in the beginning it's all we have, so we make everything here. But I think later maybe I will remove some of the residential areas and go for more industry here. And or we could go for industry there and remove the industry from here. So let's check where is groundwater. Okay, there would be groundwater. And here as well. This would be perfect for um, geothermal... Um, geothermal... Let's check how it's called. Uh, is it this? Gas, power, emergency, coal. Geothermal power plant. Because I found out that you can earn a lot of money with this. But it's quite expensive, but you make um, more money than you put into it. Okay, but for a little bit later. So... Yeah, then maybe industry concentrated there later and here only a little bit of industry and here more living living and uh, commerce and so on then i can put the uh, medium density residential people here and let's check the wind direction yeah, so if they live here, they won't be disturbed from all the stinky stuff from there. Good. So. Now, building. And trying to go with the shape of the island again. So, like so, okay. And then maybe just a second row here and how deep is this? It's not so deep. So I think we could make a third row here. And maybe here a little tiny Roundabout, maybe medium roundabout. Okay. So, from here. Up. Like so, and then... We follow the slope more or less. So, I don't take every curve, because that would be too awkward. And here, I think here I just stop. Okay. And then, from here, maybe more like this and then I 
I would love to live down there, close to the water. Maybe it's a little bit dangerous in case of a hurricane or so, but then I would build my house on stilts or so. And here I make those tiny little roundabouts in the end. Okay, then it looks like... Um, could we go there? Maybe I need uh, this elect electricity transformation station. Therefore I leave this empty. And now I would love to make all this for medium density. Well, add some more roads. Some straight roads to, to bring those together. And here another one. I think this will go. Oh, what happened here? Ah, because the oh, the slope was so steep. They built some retention walls. I hope this won't be too jumpy for the cars. We will see. So now the zoning. I try and go for all this uh, same medium density row housing and yeah I guess later they will complain and they want more low density housing but then I can build more low density housing in the other area. So, okay, and here I would go for some commerce buildings, commercial zones, but maybe later, later. Okay, oh, and they don't have electricity and no water. Ah, because the water is missing because of the bridge. Water like so. Click and snap and here. Does it work? Yeah, yeah, it works. And I think on this bridge they don't even, um, d doesn't even work with electricity, so. Does it work? Yeah, seems like. Okay. Good. Yeah, now they can build. And maybe I extend this because here we still have more place, but I need place for a school, for two schools. Yeah, I think that's all what is big in the next time. Um, so maybe I start over here and go for one row like that and leave this open for a school maybe I have to remove this part if I want to have this um, this stadium of the high school and then we have this place Okay, we will see. So, I'll 
just make a road and we will soon we will upgrade again overlapping items yes yes they have to move out and then we need the schools when we upgrade again so Here is the last. No, no. Okay. Yeah, this is rather okay. And I connect them here. Hmm. Like 90 degrees. This was an airplane. Okay, and here two. Slope too steep. Okay, this is already too steep. Yes, we can see it. Mm. Maybe I just make such a small roundabout here and then we have a cul-de-sac. Do you know that cul-de-sac or cul-de-sac is a French word? But I think it's used more often in America. So, okay, now they can settle. And somehow it's a little bit strange that the, the highway with this connection is taking up so much space of the area uh, that you own in the beginning. But that makes it challenging and interesting and therefore, yeah, I'm quite into it. And what I'm just thinking is if I want to make a road that goes here, I should make it from here and the best would be if it starts here and then this, those roads will be not so good. And people will complain as always and it's understandable and I rather make it no, 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 cul-de-sac. I make it here. And then it's even better for those new roads. Okay. And I can later make this a little bigger, maybe with a roundabout and go out there. And I could buy some land. Three pieces. Okay. So, and just start building out there. This is such a nice valley. This opening here to the bigger area so like so then following I 
think that's enough for the beginning. I won't build so much on those hills. Maybe this a little bit. But this not. This is somehow, it's a little bit too steep. And it's nice. It has a ruin there. Oh, and it has even something like Stonehenge there. So I think I will make something like a park. A self-made park. This is... Yeah, the old castle. And people love to come to this island to visit the, uh, the ruins. But maybe I'll make another road along here and they only settle on this side. But first they have to settle there and... What is with this? They start building those row houses. Oh, ah, wonderful. Milestone two. Okay. Progression panel. Yes, now we need schools. Very important. And the development now, do I want to start early with the geothermal um, power plant? Not very early, because then I have to go over to the other, other island and this is quite an investment and it will be expensive very expensive but i start unlocking in this direction now i have one more development point i could use it for advanced road services which is not so bad or a water treatment plant no this is too expensive so maybe I go for the advanced road services and then we build a school or rather we do this in the next part. Then we can do it totally relaxed and not in a hurry. In this part we build those Row houses, they are nice. Yeah. It's really nice, I like them. Yes, somehow they, they belong to the houses I like best in City Skylines too, un until now. And I only had the European ones that are nice too but this type especially this brown one is very beautiful I think and this looks interesting and good as well so I prefer them from the look much over this um, low density houses and they are so like Sprawling trailer parks. Yeah, and those here look really nice. But sadly, uh, people don't want them so often. They prefer those sprawling, a lot of space occupying single family houses over those. Okay, that's it for this episode. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.